What's up guys? Uh, so yeah, continuing on with the K10 build. Um, I did go ahead and work a little ahead without you guys. I put the grill on and I didn't put it on in the last video, but the thumb tag for it had the light bar on it. So I put that on too. But yeah, so now let's get to uh, putting some decals on. So yeah, pretty freaking cool so far guys. Okay, now I gotta track down my decals. So I'm gonna use a combination of the decals that came with the body. Um, basically all I'm gonna use are the lights um, and maybe the door handles and the fuel cap and the and the Chevy and booms. Other than that, guys, um, I'm going to be using probably the chrome off of here, the chrome decals things, but so obviously these are for the, the teal greenish color C10. Um, yeah, so this part, the lettering, I'm gonna cut off because I don't want that on there because it'll conflict with the decals that I have planned for the rest of it. But yeah, let's get to it guys. So starting off, we shall put the light marker lights on. So, and I think on these guys I think I actually have to cut them out because it doesn't look like they nope I gotta cut them out all right so let me cut these out and then I will be right back okay guys so this is really 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 tedious so as you can see I got a marker like there and I got a marker light over here and on the back side on the other side right there and on the front so yeah I literally these decals that I'm using these are the ones that come with the J Concepts K10 body um, they are not just peel and stick um, you actually have to cut them out with a knife so that's kind of a pain in the ass. But anyway, so I am just going to go ahead and cut out the rest of the decals and stick them on. And at least the ones out of here that I'm going to use. And then I will be right back. Okay, guys. So, um... The chrome that I was going to use on here will not, will not work because this is actually for the C10 Axial, obviously, um, and these wheel wells are different sizes than that of the Axial C10. So those are not going to work. But, so what I think I'm going to do is you see this style line right here. I'm going to try and attempt to color that silver because the truck that I'm going to make this into has that silver. It's actually chrome, but I don't have a way to make it chrome. So yeah, I'm going to try this out, see if it works. If not, then I don't know. But so to start, I'm going to tape it off so I can get a perfectly colored straight line on here.
just like that. And this, guys, is automotive uh, fine line tape. Uh, 3M makes a good one. Uh, it's 1 8 inch fine line tape. So, yeah. Works really well, considering this is automotive paint that I'm sticking it to. I feel it's going to work quite nice. dealing with shadows okay. oops sorry guys that was kind of loud really hope this is gonna work but I'm kind of thinking it probably won't just because I'm using a silver marker and I just don't think it's gonna work that out that well but nevertheless I'm going to try it Ta-da! Silver Sharpie. And let's go. Let's see if we can get this to color. It is not working that well, guys. Not working very well at all. So oh yeah, that's a no-go. That is not working with the darn. Shoot. Well, that was an epic fail. That really stinks. So now I have to figure out how to get that silver on there. Because that did not work. Doop, 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 doop. All right, be right back. Okay guys, yeah, this is not going well at all. Everything I want to do is just messing up. So yeah, basically all I've done so far is I put the bow tie sign on there, the blue one. And now I'm going to stick the uh, cowl vents on. So yeah. I'm really disappointed that this video is not working out like I had planned. Kind of bummed. But it is what it is, I guess. So, get this centered on here. Ta da! Cowl vents. Freaking cool. A lot of guys out there don't like decals um, because they think it's not scale. Um, I don't know. I agree with them to some extent, but in my little world, they're toys. <laughs> so, yep. I mean,. I like to keep it as realistic as possible, but I also want to keep having fun. And if I want to 
I keep breaking my back and trying to get everything super scale and like I think I just get burnt out and I don't want to do that guys so I like to keep things simple about the most difficult thing I do to these things is put lights in it which I already got going on here um, I got my light bar lights on so that's kind of cool love me some light lights I love lights lights are so cool so we shall plug this in and see what it looks like kind of a pain to plug them in all the time that's why I generally don't switch my bodies out on these trucks too often it's usually one and done Yeah. Well, now they're not working. Oh, duh, I got them plugged in wrong. <laughs> Now I gotta figure out why my light bar lights are not working. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe the plug is in upside down? Yep, plug was in upside down. Boom. Ta we have lights. So eventually I'm gonna put lights in here too. That's why there's no stickers in there. So yeah. Okay guys, so officially this video was kind of a flop, um, but at least you got to see my progress so far. I got the grill on there now, I got my lights on there now, a couple of decals. Um, so yeah, I am going to figure out something to go here. Um, yeah, it's supposed to have chrome right there. So I will figure that out and then I haven't decided yet keep giving you guys little hints on this uh, what this is gonna be but this area is supposed to be black um, I haven't quite decided if I'm gonna do that yet so yeah until next time guys hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified let me know what you think in the comments open to all opinions and advice I'm just here to have fun. So, see you later.